In this video, you will learn how to bend your tool point against the control point. This is important. When you do that daily, you make sure that your system is as accurate as possible. Note, the effect of this procedure is only to adjust how MC1 is calculating position based on the current satellite constellation. Before benching your tool point, you still need to check or adjust for blade wear on dosers and graders and recalibrate your buckets on excavators. We use the doser here as a good example for benching, but the procedure in MC1 is similar on these applications. Excavator, doser, grader. Before you do anything else, you need to find the machine-specific control points, which could be on a flat and level, possibly concrete checking area on your job site, where the blade is set at the same level as the tracks. Do not use a surveyor's fixed point, as the doser may damage it. We start in the main run screen. In this cross-section view, you can see that the height tool point is in the center of the blade. On a grader, we recommend using the site tool point with the 3D height. In the next actions, you will place your blade on the physical control point. Be very gentle, so you do not move the control point in any direction. Now place the height tool point, in this case the center of the cutting edge, on the control point. Open the icon info bar. Compare the coordinates. All three coordinates must be verified, but the height is most important for dosers and graders. In this example project, we are doing final grading with a tolerance of plus minus two centimeters. If the three coordinates are within plus minus two centimeters, you are ready. The job sites may have different requirements, so always consult with the foreman for the current tolerance values. If the northing or easting is outside that tolerance, then call your local like a representative. If the height deviates more than two centimeters, do this. Press main menu, press positioning, press on the GNSS elevation of known point menu, press on the current elevation menu, enter the height of the control point. The height is 27.026. MC1 displays two decimals. This time we round up and enter 27.03, but we could have entered all three decimals. Press OK. The GNSS offset is now minus 0.01 meters. Note, if you have to adjust more than 10 centimeters, then please call your local Leica representative. Press X to return to run screen. Open the icon info bar and verify that the height is now within tolerances. Note, this offset will stay active until you change it, so it is important that you do this check regularly. The real accuracy test is done with a proper grade check of the created surface, but it is your due diligence practice to bench your tool point regularly. That's it. You have now learned how to bench your tool point against the control point.